I love Fortnite. I know that may sound like a loaded statement, but I seriously enjoy this game way more than I should. It's pretty fun. I love getting a rush of dopamine every time I dunk on a child in regular play. But you know why else I love Fortnite? Because it's funny as hell. I think it's hilarious whenever they add funny cartoon characters shooting the funny gun at the funny guy. And I love seeing people's reactions to Scrimble McBimbleton being put in the item shop for $20. Fortnite as a game has come a long way from a zombie survival shooter to straight up parody levels of content. And I for one welcome our digital Fortnite overlords. With so many collabs in Fortnite and more coming in the future, it makes me think of the limitless possibilities of funny guest stars. Like what characters they could put in this game and how much I would love to see them. So today, how about a fun video for y'all? Instead of reviewing some progressive kids show or a game that nobody remembers, I'm going to rank the top collabs I want to see added as skins in Fortnite. Some for the fun of it, and others because I genuinely want to see people get more interested into these franchises. And also because some of these are long overdue. With that being said, let's jump into it. But before we begin, I want to get some honorable mentions out of the way first, aka all the missing Marvel and DC skins. While I hear that Fortnite won't be making more DC skins, there's still a ton of unique heroes and villains that they're missing out on. Dr. Fate, the Green Lantern Corps, Lobo, Darkseid, the rest of Batman's Rose Gallery, Azrael, Cyborg, the Flash Family, Goddamn Power Girl. Hopefully if James Gunn's new DCU is successful enough, the rest of these characters will get the spotlight they deserve in the game. Marvel has pretty much every major name covered in Fortnite. They even had a goddamn season dedicated to them. The only Marvel characters I think are missing are the Fantastic Four, which is possible now thanks to the upcoming movie, Galactus, like why'd they put him in the event but not give him a skin, Sentry, Null, the rest of Spider-Man's rogues gallery, Gwenpool, f***ing Howard the Duck. Unlike DC however, there's a higher chance that Fortnite could add more of them in the future now that Disney has a 1 billion dollar stake in the game. Gwenpool I could especially see as a level 100 battle pass reward or even a secret skin like Snake or Korra. Let's see, what else is there? The Horsemen from Darksiders would make really cool skins, specifically war and death. The Breaking Bad guys deserve to be in the game. I never watched the show, but I think that's funny as hell. Uh, I'd like to see regular show in Fortnite. And finally, while this last one we'll mention is technically cheating because it's not based on any franchises I'm aware of, but you know what? F*** it. I want more joke animal skins. In case you don't know, one of my favorite skins in the whole game is Fabio Sparklemane. A lot of people don't like it, but I love him, damn it. There's something about seeing a lineup of anime-ass skins in the battle pass right next to a f***ing DreamWorks-looking-ass unicorn standing next to them that just cracks me up. I love how he shoots guns with his hooves. I love that they turn into small hands when he eats a cereal like a reference to Adventure Time. That sh is priceless, and it represents Fortnite at its absolute peak. While there are plenty of cool-looking joke skins in the game, many of which are animals, none of them really hit that alien and appeal to me like Fabio, and I want more like that. How about in the next battle pass we get an elephant skin? Like a straight up f***ing elephant in suspenders and a bow tie with hooves and everything. He could even have a built-in emote with his trunk or one where he's scared of mice. Solely for the community reaction, it would be priceless. Alright, that's enough of the honorable mentions. Time to see what funny characters should be in this funny game. <laughs> Number 10 is Spongebob Squarepants. Well, I don't think he needs an introduction here. I mean, everyone knows Spongebob. Everyone who plays Fortnite, I'm pretty sure, loves Spongebob. If we can get Rick and Morty and goddamn Peter Griffin, then we can get the poorest little fellow from under the sea. Is this because Nickelodeon is allowing Fortnite to put Avatar characters into the game? Well, yeah. And trust me, Spongy is far from the only Nickelodeon pick on this list. Is this because I want to jam out to Glorb Spongebob songs while sniping little kids and hitting the gritty after as Spongebob? Hell f***ing yeah! As a matter of fact, just take this part of the video as an advertisement for Glorb. Now, I'm well aware of how Spongebob's proportions wouldn't be translated into a player model and that Nickelodeon probably wouldn't allow their star character to be shooting guns, so the most they'll probably give him is a back bling. But allow me to show you this. I rest my case. Number 9 is Pauline Phoenix from Dead End Parasocietal Paralysis. I just think she's hot. Like, that's literally it. What more do you want me to say? Oh my f Number, Number 8 is Charlie from Hasbun Hotel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can laugh at it another day. We already got a dance emote referencing the show in the game, so where the hell is Charlie, or the spider sex thing? I, I forgot his name. Charlie's probably the most likely candidate since she is the main character, but Alistair would be a better fit in my opinion. I can already picture him being cel-shaded with his staff as a pickaxe and that little cyclops Nifty, or Mif, I, I, I don't know her name, as a back bling. Plus, he would fit really well with that emote we currently have in the game. Plus, it helps to get more indie reps in Fortnite since we probably won't see Five Nights at Freddy's anytime soon. Yet. Well, I guess Hasbin isn't technically indie anymore since it's on Amazon, but whatever. All I'm saying is the day they add either of these two in Fortnite, it would be the funniest sh I would ever see. 
Number seven is Ben 10. Ben 10 is one of my favorite animated series ever. Of course, if Cartoon Network comes to Fortnite, the first characters we're likely getting are from Adventure Time or Regular Show, but if they want to add more, they gotta have Ben 10. Hell, throwing the Omnitrix is a goddamn mythic for all I care. Ben has the ability to turn into dozens of cool aliens with unique superpowers, and he gains more of them throughout the series. Could Fortnite make skins out of all of them? No. Obviously, all I'm saying is it would be cool to use an Omnitrix emote to switch to aliens as edits like Heat Blast, Diamond Head, or even Alien X. Heck, if they wanted to, I'd also like to get other characters like Gwen and Kevin in an item shop bundle. Epic Games, I'll be awaiting my check in the mail for this idea. Thank you very much. Number six. Number six is XJ9 slash Jenny Wakeman from My Life as a Teenage Robot. I didn't fully grow up with the show as a kid, but man, I wish I did. Because after watching this series for the first time in ages while playing Metal Arms Glitch in the System, it's a surprising charming and endearing show. I know Jenny Wakeman might seem like a niche pick compared to Spongebob, but if Nickelodeon puts more of their characters in Fortnite, then I'd be down for Jenny. I mean, she already has all the necessities for her skin. She could have one of her sisters, XJ1, or her little buddy Tuck as a back bling. Her signature blue and white aesthetic would go hard as a gun wrap. Her jetpack could be a glider, throw in Hot Rod Jenny as an edit, and maybe give her a built-in emote showing off her built-in weaponry. It's pretty cool stuff, and it could get more players into watching the show. Only downside of this is that Epic will probably have to censor her outfit since she pretty much walks around with with her belly sticking out like a prostitute. But hey, I can live with that. Just uh, just don't pair her up with the Stoneheart skin or you'll develop symptoms of PTSD. <laughs> Number 5 is Spawn. From the guy who co-created Venom comes this hardcore demon-hunting anti-hero, voiced by the one and only Keith David. I gotta come up front and say, I know jack shit about Spawn. The reason I even have him on this list is to broaden the roster of comic book icons outside of Marvel or DC. Hellboy anyone? Spawn is already an iconic character in his own right, and I can guarantee that he is well overdue for Fortnite. He already uses guns in the source material, so this isn't entirely out of the question. I mean, blood is practically battle pass material. A boss design, a love of guns, cool weapons that can be turned to pickaxes, a cool ass cape that can be melted into his model or used as a back bling, and a lot of different costumes that could work as edits. And just imagine if they get Tom McFarlane to make the loading screen. I mean, they got Kevin Eastman to do one for the TMNT. Hopefully when that Blumhouse Spawn movie's released, he'll get his chance at hunting Charlie on the map in duos with the Doom Slayer for one hell of a time. Ah, you see what I did there? Wordplay. Number four is more League of Legends skins. Arcane Season 2 comes out by the end of the year, and if Epic is bringing back Vi and Jinx into the item shop, I'd like to see more League skins along with them. While I could cherry pick some champions to become skins in the game, like Scion, Jax, Cassidy, Nasus, Jace's Hammer is already in Fortnite, so why isn't he in the item shop? I've boiled my top choices down to three based on Arcane. Darius, Echo, and Victor. Darius is a big, tall dude who swings a big axe and is representative of one of my favorite factions in the world of League, Noxus. He's practically begging to be a Fortnite skin, just look at him. Big buff dude, Fortnite's got plenty of those, a weapon that can be easily translated into a pickaxe, huge shoulder pads, and a flowing cape that can either be bound to the skin like Wonder Woman's cape or turn into a back bling. With Noxus potentially getting more involved in the next season of Arcane, Darius would be a great choice to not only represent League of Legends more, but also to represent this faction and potentially one of the big driving forces of season two. F me, I'll even take him cell shaded if they want to promote that upcoming fighting game 2XKO. Also, please give him the Dunkmaster skin as an edit. I beg of you, Epic, please. Echo is one of League's most iconic champions, and also one of the most popular characters from Arcane. I think they'll give him his Arcane look over his League design, but it would still be cool to have his time device as a back bling and a sword bat, yes, that's what it's called, as a pickaxe, and maybe even his airboard as a glider. Victor would also be really cool since the season could likely develop him further as a character, and he's likely that Arcane themed VGU that Riot Games is working on. I think they'd most likely go for his arcane look over his current one, much like Echo. Though if Epic goes with the latter, I wonder what they'll do with that third arm on his shoulder. I think it'd be cool if the arm was reactionary, like shaking when you're shooting a gun or making hand gestures when you do an emote. But I think that would take a lot of work considering just how many emotes there are in the game, so I think they'll just leave it stiff for some sh the world of League is full of cool characters that will make for even cooler skins in Fortnite, and if Riot is going to do an even bigger push for Arcane Season 2, including Fortnite promotion, I can only hope one of these bastards can make it in. Here's especially to Darius. <laughs> Number three is a bit of a controversial one because it's of a show that I am pretty sure more than half of the people who play Fortnite have never even heard of, but I put it on her anyways because I actually have evidence of it being a possibility, even if it's a small one. I want to see Anne Boomchoy from Disney's Amphibia in Fortnite. To those who don't know, Amphibia is a Disney Channel animated show about a girl named Anne Boonchoy who gets teleported to a fantasy world of talking Pepe looking ass frogs. It's basically an American isekai, much like how Owl House is a lesbian isekai. 
this is disgusting. I quite enjoy the show, and I'd appreciate it if you checked it out after this video. Now, to the average Fortnite player, the idea of this know-it-all cartoon character in Fortnite sounds pretty bogus, and I would agree with that if I didn't actually have evidence for this. See, every now and then, Fortnite likes to do these private surveys where they question the player base what franchises they're into and what they would like to see be turned to a collapse skin in Fortnite. Lots of big names tend to show up in these surveys, and some of which would eventually turn into skins later down the line, like Peter Griffin. And one such name that happened to pop up was Amphibia the first mention of which dates back to April 2022, around the end of the show's third season. Of course, it's worth pointing out that because these names appear in these surveys doesn't exactly mean they'll be in Fortnite, it's more so to see which IPs the players are most familiar with, but it at least shows that Epic is somehow aware of the show's existence and its universal appeal. Or maybe they were simply picking names out of a jar and Amphibia just so happened to pop up. Well, regardless, if they still remember that one specific survey, then I would love to see Anne Boonchoy kicking ass and popping Molly on Aaron Yeager's ass cheeks. She would fit nicely alongside the other cell shaded collapse skins. She could come in a few styles based on her outfits in the show, like her armored look, her design in season 3, or even, and this is a big spoiler by the way, her superpowered look from the show's finale. Her pickaxe could be either a sword or her tennis racket, the glider could be her backpack or even Domino 2, and the back bling could potentially be either her friend Sprig or even Polly that Anne carries around in a bucket. If you really want to go far, how about Anne's other friends, Sasha and Marcy, in a Calamity Trio bundle complete with their own styles, weapons, and back blings? If we can get a goddamn cartoon chicken or the entire cast of Futurama in the item shop, what's stopping Fortnite from doing the same with all three girls? Now, the chances of seeing Amphibia represented, I think, are pretty unlikely now, given it's been nearly two years since that one survey, and they have never been mentioned since. But, you know, maybe now that Disney has a share in Fortnite, we could see the potential crossover of Disney Channel classics to reinvigorate players' nostalgia, Randy Cunningham skin when, and hopefully Amphibia will be among these cartoon skins, if Epic is allowed to choose the skins, of course. Plus, I think it'll be really funny to see Owl House fans' reactions to Amphibia getting more love than their own show. And Owl House is for fat- <laughs> Coming at number two is Dante. Not this Dante, not this Dante, unfortunately, this Dante from Devil May Cry. If I had a nickel for every time I wanted a Demon Slayer in Fortnite to compensate for the fact that I don't have the Doom Slayer skin, I'd have two nickels. Which ain't really a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? <laughs> If by any chance Fortnite is doing another space theme season that doesn't contain any Star Wars or Star Trek, a collab I would love to see be a part of it is Warhammer 40k. The number one collab I want to see the most in this entire game. I f***ing love Warhammer, both 40k and fantasy that came before it. It's a shocker to me that for a franchise with an everlasting presence in gaming and pop culture as Warhammer, that Games Workshop, the company that owns it, hasn't been approached to put their characters in the game yet. And for as much as I would love to hit the gritty on Peter Griffin as a proud warrior priest of Sigmar, or a Skaven, or even some legendary characters like Dami Mami Marathi and his son Malekith, or sexy Emperor Karl Franz himself, I'm going to lean more towards 40k because not only is it generally more popular than fantasy, unfortunately, but it also has more cooler, more iconic options for skins. As much as I love fantasy, the world of which it takes place in is essentially a more twisted version of our own reality. So if an empire or nation existed in our world, it more than likely exists in the world of Warhammer Fantasy. You could literally use the King Oro skin and pretend it's a Tomb King, or the Monkey King skin and pretend it's from Grand Cathay, and you would basically have the same experience. In 40k, however, the Imperium, that is the human faction in Warhammer 40k, has a lot of more diverse factions and sub-factions with boss designs that are synonymous with 40k's identity that you can make a skin out of. From the Sisters of Battle, the Imperial Guard and its many regiments, to the goddamn Adeptus Mechanicus, or even more alien factions like the Eldar, Necrons, Tau, or the Mother Morkan Orcs. Whatever comes from 40k, I would buy it in the item shop in a heartbeat. But of course, the real dish they should serve in the game is the goddamn Adeptus Astartes, aka the Space Marines. Picture this, a fully customizable Space Marine and Chaos Marine skin in a future battle pass. Similar to skins like Chimera or Spectre Knight, this could have some insane customization options you could earn from doing quests. That way you can deck out your Marine in different colors, shoulder pads, helmets, chest plates, all based on the 18 Space Marine legions that exist in the tabletop and maybe even the numerous smaller chapters in the lore. And while we're at it, how about we make this more than just a simple skin sale? This has the potential to be a full-on crossover collab with various landmarks on the map decked in the techno-gothic architecture of the grim dark future and how about we throw in space marine weapons as mythics i want to shoot at players with a las gun i want to one-shot them in a shower of holy gore with the bolter i want to bring back memories of playing space marine on the ps3 with a chainsword and power hammer oh yeah chainsword pickaxe and power pack back bling would be nice thank you very much 40k's designs go hard and a skin in fortnite would go even harder it could make for one of the best collabs in fortnite if epic man 
it just to pull it off, and a great way to get people into Warhammer and for GW to sell their overpriced figures and rulebooks on their website. Maybe when that Amazon series with Henry Cavill comes around, there's a chance we will finally see the Emperor's Finest on the island hitting the rolling on Freddy Fazbear and Luffy from One Piece. And that is why Warhammer 40k is my most wanted collab for Fortnite. And yeah, that's really all the collabs I want to see in Fortnite. Some that have high chances, some that don't, but this video was pretty fun to make. I just thought I'm making this video for funsies because I got nothing else to talk about. Hopefully we'll be right back with your regularly scheduled programming after this video. Bye everybody! <laughs>